Every week we show you dogs that are looking for a place to call home. But do you know how to transition a rescue animal once you've signed papers to adopt one? Well, Dr. Taylor Truitt joins us now along with both Duncan and Minty with tips on how to welcome your pet and make sure there's a smooth transition. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So first let's talk about really just how do you make this happen? Yeah. The first thing is to think about what type of dog or cat would fit into your lifestyle. And looking at your activity levels for your family, your travel schedule, if you're going to be home a lot, a lot. Once you've got that all figured out, though, you can uh, reach out to the different rescue organizations. These two are from Animal Haven. Um, they're currently up for adoption. And then you can start sifting through the different dogs and trying to find which one will fit into your home. Okay, and so yeah. once you've made that decision uh -huh. and you find the perfect pet, I know, nice. <laughs> I know she is definitely looking for a forever home. Is it necessary to retrain, and if so, how do you do it? You know, I think the thing to remember is that a lot of these dogs have gone through a lot in their lives. Right. Some more than others. Um, these mm -hmm. guys, I think they're very sweet animals, but they've been uprooted from their permanent homes. They've gone to a foster home, and then they're going into your home. So going when you bring them home, you want to start slow and easy with them and getting them used to their new environment, their new people, getting to know the behaviors of the dog. And also, I tell people, it can take anywhere between three or six months to see the total personality come out for the particular rescues. Right. So it might take some time before you're, you're really a part of the family, yeah. really, feeling comfy in your home. What about if, though, you notice that the dog's just not adapting? Um, I think working with a trainer is a really good thing. And regardless if the dog is, adapt, you know, quote, adopting or not adapting, mm -hmm. but getting a trainer involved, it helps boost the dog's confidence, and it helps boost your confidence and build the relationship with your dog or cat. Um, learning just the basics, going to cl um, different classes and things along those lines will help you solidify your relationship and also make the dog feel comfortable working with you. It starts building the trust between you and your new pet. Right. And, and what about if you find that the dog is aggressive? Because that can be a real issue, especially you may not know the full background that they come yeah. from. Some of them, it's, I find it to be more of a fear aggression. And these rescue groups do a really phenomenal job of uh, figuring out these dogs' personalities, if they work well with other dogs or cats, mm -hmm. um, if they're ch good with children. But the fear aggression, it just takes some time to, you know, build them up. And once again, it's about building confidence. Most of these rescue groups that are out there do a fabulous job knowing who these pets are, what type of environment to put them into to help increase the chances of success for the particular adoption. For someone like me who has kids, yeah. uh, do you think rescuing an animal acting as a temporary home, uh -huh. fostering, is a good idea? I think fostering is great. And the reason why is this, is there is something called foster to adopt. And you can bring them into your home and start seeing how does this particular animal work into your particular environment? Do, um, do they do well with children? Uh, there's a situation we call it a foster fail. And these are dogs that start off as foster dogs, but that they then get adopted by their particular home that they're into. So that's right. always a great moment for them. A lot of folks, they find out that these dogs are amazing creatures and cats too. I know we're focusing yes, on the dogs right, right now. Um, but they find out that they get the dog in, the cat in, and they realize that it really is a positive addition to their family. But when you're fostering though too, you're not making the absolute long-term commitment that if this doesn't work out, then you know the, the rescue group is able to take that particular animal back and then put them into a different place until they find a, a perfect situation. And also you did talk about earlier, you know, once they're really feeling part of the family, it takes about three months, yeah. it's important to revisit the vet at that point in time too. Or when is it important to make sure you hit the vet? I think that they should visit the vet in the first 10 days of coming okay. home. Okay. Um, the reason is, is a lot of these rescue groups, they do amazing things. Um, they're able to get them healthy and uh, be able to be adoptable. But there's also preventative care that once this particular pet is in your home environment, um, we need to talk about heartworm prevention, flea control. Some pets need additional vaccines for their particular lifestyle that they don't get when they are um, in the foster situation. And it's good too just to have them checked out. Um, you know, particular animals, they come in from the rescue groups and I'll find different things. Sometimes they'll have low grade skin infections, all manageable things, but they just need a little, you know, set of hands on them, a medical evaluation to help them transition. Right. It's also a great time too. I talk to a lot of foster families about how these particular pets will enter into the home and I can consult them a little bit on their behavioral issues and help them feel a little bit more comfortable of making the transition from rescue to family member. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for all the info. <laughs> thank we you. know that we have so many pets that are looking for forever homes and of course coming up a little bit later in the show our furry friend finder section <laughs> at eight o'clock. So be sure to tune in for that with the Humane Society of New York. Dr. Truett, thank you so much. Thank you so here. much. Such a cute dog.